Hello and uh, welcome everyone. So now in this video we are going to write the migrations and the associations between different entities in migration itself. Okay. So in the previous video what we have done is we have created these schema models. Right. Now in this video we are going to create these migrations. So we can just run simple command. The command can be uh, this one. Here you can pass your migration name. Migration name is consider that I'm creating first. Create uh, customer. Similarly, I will create all the migrations first. Create customer, create product, create uh, order. Okay, create payment. These are just a skeleton we are creating. Create tag. Uh, for tag I think product belongs to a tag okay so tag will be another entity we are creating so we got customer order product tag tag payment order product customer yeah so we have everything now we just need to uh, fill in the data for customer and what we can what we can do is we can just reuse the code what we need to replace is okay our entity type is customer and the columns we can get from the customer model okay these are the columns we are going to we want to see in our entity so we just need to replace this part and data type you will be getting from sqlize okay and the drop table means that same table we have created we can drop that if things are not good so customer okay so we have created a create customer migration uh, if we can also test it by running it uh, if customer entity has been created or not okay so type is uuid here these are the set of columns we have name email and the id id is uuid not auto incremented and up and down okay Similarly, uh, create product. So we will go to a product. What all we have is name and price. So it is kind of simple. We can, I think, copy this one and uh, reuse it everywhere. So this is customer till from here to here. We just need to replace the entity name. So this is create product. Okay, the values are different. So will not do end to end copy paste uh, create product but it's like too much duplicates okay this is our product how we will write it now this is our product we can just do a drop so for, for now you can skip these down return query interface drop, dot drop table product you can I mean for production application you have to write it for demo I am skipping all these things then we have a create order so in order what do we have is invoice number and ID this is our order entity We are done with order then payment payment will be the status of the payment and the amount we need to pay this entity is payment just need to care about the entity names which you are mentioning here and the models try to keep them as same so we got the payment entity and now we have the product this is a kind of uh, miss from sqlize it would be have been better if i can create an initial create migration from the models itself if i'm not using a db sync utility create tag is name and description okay and just define the columns here create tag create payment is done create order is done product is done customer is done 
Now we can run these migrations. These are just a create migrations, creating just a basic table structure with ID and the columns. These are not going to create association for us. Create order, fine. Let me just run this, npm run migrate. And we stuck here, data types is not defined. Okay, yeah, I got this point. I didn't change it to sequelize everywhere. That you have to fix. Data types are not there. You have to get these types from here. For order also the same changes. Let me just quickly do it. So our one first migration passed and second migration prop so it we don't need to run this again it has already executed and then create tag finally now let's run this and see what we get so it's running oh well what is this data types not defined in what create product I replaced it everywhere okay maybe I didn't save it okay save all npm run migrate yeah you see everything is passed now we have created a basic tables now the important part is creating the associations using migration itself okay so we'll create uh, one migration association so we have all the tables here one more table we have to add which is about okay create tag and tag and product if you see they are associated to through the pro product tag so this is the third table they are associated with so we have to write the migration for this particular entity and we have to create it so this will be a simple table which is going to have product id and tag id so i will just add it or we can create a dummy migration for this it's like a product tag create product tag migration create it's done and uh, yeah the only difference is here this create product tag is the entity name your interface dot create table and we can run our migrate first let's check we are using the type properly product id is there and tag id is there okay both are primary because this is a menu to many relationship and it's a third table which we are creating npm run migrate it should work fine okay now we have created our tables okay now what we need to do is we need to define the association so for that we can just do create association this is the migration we are going to create so it depends on you so we have a lot of tables right either you define all the association together or you can with the table itself we can define the association so i will be working on this particular and this is the important part how we are going to define the association when we are not writing uh, when we are not doing a db sync okay so this association is like first we will talk about our pro order and customer okay so how we are defining like we we have already created a table so in this query interface we have another thing is add column we'll use add column utility to add a new column and similarly there is a remove column in the drop now we have all the entity ids already created so where i'm going to create a, yeah, i'm going to create a new column in the order okay this is my entity name and what that column is going to have so this you have to define here so query interface dot add column in the add column on which entity in the order entity and what column name that object you will define here 
so the column name I wanted to have is customer ID and the object what all association it is going to have okay so this is how you will add a new columns as, as a relationship okay so query interface dot add column in the order I wanted to place a customer ID customer ID is fine and in this object we can define all the attributes like on cascade what is the reference we are going to have all these properties we can define okay so here this is the the reference customer ID will be of type UUID because primary key in the customer is UUID reference so in the customer model I will be creating a customer ID okay so in the customer we have ID as the primary key so here we need to just take care of the entity name because in our tables we are, we are using customer right without s so you have to take care so in the customer I have the ID as a primary key I want to reference that as a customer ID here as a foreign key right UUID and this is how I will be defining a column and in this drop column you can remove column from the order table and the, the column name is customer ID this is a drop column definition we can try running this so this is our first migration we have run I mean this can be a first migration which is defining the association between customer and order so customer ID will be a foreign key in the order and customer ID which is a foreign key in the order will point to the ID column in the sorry let me correct so in the order entity customer ID will be a foreign key which is going to point on this ID of a customer okay like customer has an ID as a primary key which is going to act as a customer ID foreign key in the order table that's it simple okay now this is the first relationship we have created there will be many okay so we have already talked about the payment and order so we can define the another relationship so here you can do the chain of this query interface dot add column this actually returns a promise and here you can define the other association this is a, these are called chained associate chained association first we are done with the add column okay now I can do the same thing query interface dot uh, add column so here I will be talking about uh, orders order and payment okay so here I will have a payment ID so here it will point to payment and I will be talking about the primary key ID in the payment will act as a foreign key in the order as a payment ID so I'm adding a new column in the order okay so these are the two reference I have added now there can be another third reference which we talked about in our models which is product and order ID okay so this is like I want order ID as a foreign key in the product column so again what I will do is this is returning a promise again so I can do the chaining and I can return this and it will be the, the difference will be here I will be talking about product and order ID just take care of the names uh, and here is the product so I'm adding order ID order ID will reference to a order table and there is a ID column similarly here I'm talking about the payment ID as a foreign key in the order which is pointing to the ID in the payment table okay like if you get any error you wanted to log it then you can do catch so if you are coming inside a catch then this migration will not be executed and you will be you will get a chance to look at the error console.log error while you are building it for the first time in the local development always catch the error so you will understand okay what mistakes you have made while writing this migration and here you can just do remove column remove column 
like first you remove column from here from this table then do the chaining dot then here return query interface dot remove column from where you will remove it now uh, from order which is a payment id so you have to look at here so from the order customer id then order payment id so orders customer id and order payment id you have to remove payment id and finally you will be removing the product order id from products okay okay so this is going to be removed from product and we will be removing order id so here you can see what you are going to remove just specify the the correct so from product we are removing the order id from order we are removing the payment id from order we are removing the customer id so this is also chain reaction and you can also do a catch if you want just to see if anything fails and we are not able to trap it okay so we have written a simple one single association you can divide it into three different files but these are very simple so i thought of adding them to a single one so here we have order and customer id right so if you just see our order order is the entity name is order and it is talking about adding customer id as a foreign key from the customer entity so create customer just check the naming and all everything let's see if it fails uh, we'll try to fix it oh it, it's passed okay so everything is fine now what we will do is we will just look at our tables and we will start writing our schema for a graphql thanks everyone